the double-handed kettlebell swing. Now, just to let you know, I have many, many instructional videos on the kettlebell swing, specifically in our toolkit, which I 100% recommend that you get your hands on, our Getting Started Toolkit, but also uh, in our Ultimate Guide to the Kettlebell Swing. You want to make sure that you're mastering the hip hinge and that you're not doing any of our common kettlebell mistakes, kettlebell swing mistakes, okay? So I'm going to demo this for you. I'm going to give you some key teaching points at the start, the middle, and the end. But I want to keep this video short so that you're seeing what you're doing here. But ultimately, if you feel like this isn't working, or you feel like this is hurting, or you're just a little bit more cautious of doing a kettlebell swing, please, please, please go and check out either our free resource or the Getting Started Toolkit for you to make sure that you're doing this right, the good form, so that you're doing it effectively so that you can get all the benefits of this amazing movement. Right, let's get on to it. You're gonna do this with an eight kilo, or your 15 pound bell. You wanna start with it at the top of the mat and you're gonna step back, okay? Just like you normally do with the arches of the feet. You're gonna push, you're gonna start with your, hip, uh, your feet slightly wider than hip distance, push your hips back into a hinge. Have you noticed that I'm not squatting? and the bell is not starting in my hands. Very important. Push your hips back. You're gonna get a nice flat back. You're gonna hook the bell with your fingers. Your arms are just noodles. Your hands are the hooks. Lean the bell in. Lead and load those heels so that you're loading backwards. You're not on your toes. You're not too much on your heels or your toes flopping forward. You're nice and ground. Try to break the handle. Yeah, try to break the handle to flatten the back or put your shoulder blades in your back pocket or stick your chest out slightly. Bring your gaze to the edge of the yoga mat. Then you're going to hike the kettlebell back, just like an American football. Exhale. Stand up tall. Drive those hips forward. Hinge. Then hip snap at the top. Nice and strong. Nice and tall. Your bell about chest level, no higher. Exhale. And then put the bell down the way that you picked it up. And that is the kettlebell swing. So I want you to make sure that you get all of those teaching points and that you practice. It's very important that the kettlebell swing is a practice. Where you do it, take on some coaching points um, and be able to see what you're doing. I highly recommend that you film yourself doing a kettlebell swing from home, whether you choose to share that with us or not, it's completely up to you but it will give you everything that you need because you can't even do it in a mirror, right? Because the mirror would be in front of you. But I need to see you from the side to see the hip hinge, just like you would need to see yourself. So I invite you to film your kettlebell swing, learn all the different teaching points and common mistakes that you will see from um, the different videos and resources and toolkit that we have, and then be able to adjust it because a kettlebell swing won't always be achieved the first time around. In fact, it might take you a good couple of weeks to be able to really practice it and master it, right? And then just as you've mastered it and feel strong with it, that's when you're able to go heavier, yeah? So be sure to make sure that you're filming yourself doing the kettlebell swing and whether you just look at that and, and, and you know, critique it and coach yourself through it with our very many free resources, or if you're one of our clients or want to be one of our clients or want to avail of your getting your kettlebell swing, you know, checked and coached, then make sure you reach out to us. All right, enjoy your kettlebell swing.